What's up, monarchs? I am divine. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so grateful that we have aligned. Welcome or welcome back to the monarchy. Okay, so this is spirit medicine, okay? And spirit medicine messages are basically, you know, the Bible tells us don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. This is basically the Lord giving me messages about the current spiritual attacks, spiritual warfare that's going on in the body of Christ and just in general okay in in all of god's people right because the bible tells us it is god's desire that not one of his children shall perish right so um if you want to know what tribe you're in i do have a post in the community tab about how to know which tribe you're in as well as i go more into detail about the seven spirits of god and how god um highlights the seven one of the seven spirits for each tribe as he gives me the prophetic message and the spirit medicine so if you're just seeing the spirit medicine and you feel led to go actually watch the prophetic word that went along with this do that okay so this is for the tribe of asher and the spirit that was a focus was the spirit of understanding and the, the scripture was proverbs 18 15 i'm not going to read the scripture because i did that in the prophetic word but this goes along with the other holistic tools that the Lord gives me for you guys to minister to and use and heal the right practical things to use to have that spiritual maintenance, right? So like I said, the pro the um, scripture is Proverbs 18, 15, and the spiritual attack for this tribe is regret. And in particular, the Lord was showing me regret in relationships, right? And the the enemy is trying to put this, this spirit of regret on you and make you feel like you'll never get this certain type of relationship again or that you messed up so bad or, you know, that you'll never find what you had again. You really missed your chance or you're being punished. Right, so you're having these ruminating thoughts on what you should have done or you could have done or you would have done, right? And this could be in any kind of relationship, but the Lord is specifically highlighting in love relationships, right? But in, in, in even more specifically, like your first love, okay? And um, there's also the regret in terms of how you were in your faith or how you have been in your faith. So maybe when you didn't follow or listen to God in some type of way that you should have and you are experiencing and seeing you know agape love from God right God God's forgiveness and God's grace for you however the enemy is using regret to try to keep you from healing and forgiving yourself even though you know God has forgiven you the enemy is using the spirit of regret the the, the, the spiritual attack of regret to stop you from healing and, and from forgiving your own self right and that's why the spirit of understanding is being highlighted here because the lord is wanting you to know that the lord forgives you right the lord gives you grace the lord loves you but the lord also wants you to allocate those that that spirit to yourself right the lord wants you to be more understanding with yourself the lord wants you to give yourself more grace the lord wants you to forgive yourself right and the enemy is trying to combat that with the spirit of regret right especially in relationships and uh, love relationships friendships and family relationships right things that you did or things that you said or things that you didn't do or say but also in terms of your faith right whether you know you backslid or you've been lukewarm or whatever it is for you that you've been feeling this sense of regret and having that ruminating thought like man if i just didn't do this or if i just did it this way if i just listened if i you know or if i, if I just said this or the lord is saying forgive yourself and keep forgiving forgiving yourself as long as it takes until you actually have healed and let it go right and, and healing is not linear it's not like oh step 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 okay now boom i'm healed like no healing can be cyclical right where sometimes you feel healed and then something in your life happens and, and it triggers you 
and you realize like man okay i healed this part of this situation or i healed this part of this this thought or this feeling but i didn't even know that this you know there was another layer to it right so show yourself grace is what the lord is saying so the herbs that i got was um siberian ginseng aloe and aloe vera the essential oils and you know herbs you can um you put in your food you can use herbs for tinctures they have capsules you can use them like naturally as well right just get with the lord and ask him how to use these these tools okay so this is these are tools for spiritual maintenance okay physical practical things you can do to keep your mind your body and your spirit and this is all backed up by scripture too right they use herbs they use essential oils they use stones and they use food all in the bible for spiritual practices and spiritual maintenance okay so again the scripture is proverbs 18 and 15 the essential oils i got is grapefruit and juniper berry the stone for this tribe which is the tribe of asher is amethyst and the food that i got for this tribe is cucumber and seeded grapes okay and remember this is for the spiritual attack of regret okay the, the enemy is trying to keep you from healing and forgiving yourself by using regret in relationships or regret in terms of things that you fall in or short of in your faith okay so i hope this helps i hope this heals don't forget to like comment share subscribe click the bell button if you want to know when i post more if you're interested in any healing services all the information is in the description box below and i will be back this week